Hi, this is a quick review of the Mixider Bluetooth wireless headphone. This is a pretty nice lightweight headphone. It's designed for everyday listening of music and also making phone calls. Beside the headphone, you also get a micro USB charging cable and then you also get a small little user menu. It's basically just a four page booklet explaining everything in English, pretty easy to use. This is an all plastic construction and it does make the headphone feel pretty cheap and flimsy. However, the advantage is that this headphone is pretty light. As you can see, it feels really light in the hand. You have here the fake bladder and along with some foam and uh, the, the only issues I have with this is that this foam is uh, kind of tough as you can see here. After about half an hour of wearing this, I do feel a pinch on my ear and I do have to pull it off and to give it a little bit rest. Also contributing to this is this clamp here. This headband is made out of plastic as you can see and there's no support. Uh, this is kind of disappointing for me. I wish there was a little bit of support here which will help because this actually pinch your head. As you can see here, the headphone do pivot 90 degree and they also fold inward just like this. After about using this for a week or so, um, I thought that the clamp would get a little bit better but uh, it did not. It stay basically about the same. These headphones go over your ear and uh, they do provide a decent seal so there's not a lot of sound leak. It also provide a nice sound isolation so when you're playing music, you're not going to be able to hear much. Uh, as soon as you start cranking the music up just a little bit. I think the biggest improvement I can suggest is that to make this ear cup a little bit softer as they do not cushion at all and uh, just provide some pinch to your ear. As far as the sound quality, the lows on these are pretty nice. The bass hit pretty strong and hard. However, it does bleed through the mid and it feels a little bit muddy. The mids are warm and the vocal sounds pretty good. So your typical genre like pop, hip hop, EDM sounds pretty good in your headphone. The highs are not as clear as I would like them to be. So music like classical and acoustic doesn't sound as clean as I would like them to. I think audio file might not like these because the lack of clarity and resolution. Another thing I want to point out is these buttons are basically in dimple in. So you can see here, if I press on it, you can feel like that. So on the, this is the right side ear cup here. The only thing on here is the power button. You can hold down to turn it on and then you can also continue holding it down for syncing mode. On this side, the headphone here, you have your playback control. So you have play and pause, you have uh, volume up and down, and then you have fast forward and rewind on track. You also have a built-in microphone here to make phone call. The only issues I have with these button is that when you're wearing these on your head, they are a little bit tough to press and you have to be pretty much on a dot. For example here, if I press here, nothing happened. You really have to be right on top of it. And when you press these, you do have to give some effort, as you can see here. And it does cause a dimple, you can see. So when you put this on your head, trying to push that to the side of your head. So you can see it does require a little bit of effort. I think if Mixider takes some of the control and put it on your side, I think it will help out a lot. Maybe the volume control over here instead because everything is on one side. And also I think the button can be a little bit better designed because they're pretty tough to press. And the charging port is at the bottom right here. And underneath you do have a mini USB charging port. So overall, yes, Mixider Bluetooth wireless headphone sounds pretty good for your casual music listening. For the typical consumer, I think you will enjoy this headphone and it's a really nice sounding headphone. The only thing that you have to get over is basically the strong clamp and the lack of cushion on the ear cup. So I hope your short little review helped you in your budget decision. And if you have any question, please let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future review. Thank you.